Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Terraria. Today we are getting back into the action and as it becomes nighttime, I have one thing on my mind and that is destroying the Eye of Cthulhu. The last time we did this, it was right before nighttime, so he got away from me, but not this time. We are beating him up and he is getting taken down. So I'm gonna use all the weapons I can quickly before it's nighttime. Um, I should have a golden bow. We have tons of arrows and speaking of which, I also have Jester's arrows, which is 10 range damage. That's twice as much as a normal weak knockback. That's interesting. We'll have to maybe end up using those. I wanted to try using the flare gun as well because we do have that. And then maybe if we can do anything else, we have like 13 throwing damage for the throwing knives. I will try it, but it, it's only during the nighttime you can do this. Once the nighttime ends, he will fly away and maybe you'll never hear from him again. Apparently there's a chance he might just spawn on his own during a nighttime, but I haven't seen that happen yet. I'm gonna do it over this way. I wanna do it on top of the mountain so I have a higher chance of actually reaching the dude. That would be great. So yeah, let's try this out. And I think that I will put out the, the fire arrows first. Any, any way we can just sort of damage him down. All right, are we ready? Let's get to it. Oh man, I'm nervous. Do I even have potions? I don't, so this might be a problem. Especially since I'm like really bad at aiming the arrows. Okay, let's get to him. Okay, but when he dives down like that, that's when I need to switch over real fast and start doing that. Ow, Oh, oh! I should have grabbed potions. If I die, I can just come back here though. It's not far from home. Oh no, come on, come on, come on. Keep getting him. Oh, now that's starting to stack on the damage. I see the health bar slowly lowering. Come on, come on. Oh, no, oh, that hurt. Come on now, I'm gonna get you. This music is super cool. I'm not letting you get out of this without winning. Okay, come on, get him, get him. Ow, I hope he doesn't go away if we die, by the way. <laughs> that would be a bummer. Come on, oh, I just keep spawning more eyes of Cthulhu. I hope I'm ready for this, I really do. Oh, I guess I'm out of uh, fire arrows. Ow, stop doing that. You are not very nice right now. Come on, where are you? We're getting there, you can see his health bar is starting to get lower, we've made a dent. And if I keep hitting him at the right angle, I'm able to get rid of his eyeballs before they even really actually do any damage to me most of the time. Ow, but then like my health gets lower as he keeps doing that. I don't like the fact that he can Ah, oh, he's flying away from me, he doesn't like that. You don't like that I can do that, huh? Well, I don't like that you can beat me up either, but seems like we're more similar than you'd think. I'm a zebra, you're a giant eyeball. Come on, ow. And like, we're slowly getting there. We're probably about a third of the way through, which is not really distilling much confidence in me especially when I'm at 17 health. Stop doing it, it's always the one or two lone eyeballs. They're like the bats. Okay, we got slain by the Ikethul. But like I said, we can get back out there. As soon as it lets me, no, did he leave? He did leave. Oh, that stinks, I can never get <laughs> I need potions next time. Why does he leave though? They like, can't he just stay around? Cause a little bit more havoc. Darn. Okay, well I definitely, I could do a couple more things then, I think. Um, I could probably craft better armor for sure, but you know, the more we dig down, I was really hoping we could have gotten in this episode too, darn. Okay, well, never said I was good at the game. <laughs> good thing I didn't either, or people would think I'm a liar. Um, yeah, we should just be good to get out of here, or at least to beat these guys up a little bit. There we go. You know what, while I'm here, let me get this these trees as well. I wanna make another room for another NPC. We could spend our time doing that as well. That'll probably be pretty important to do. How much wood do we have? I'll have to go check our chests. But yeah, I don't know, it just, I tried my best there, it sort of fell apart. But hey, better luck next time. Now I know a bit more, or the next time we fight him, that he's gonna be real tough. Wait, no, wrong button. Uh, boop, boop, there we go. But yeah, I'm tempted to make some new stuff. Look the zombies beating against the door over that way. I wanna take a look at our equipment. Like we have four defense for a gi, we have iron greaves which have two defense. I don't really know how much more we could really improve this defense. Like and then down here we have accessories which I don't know if we even have any, you know? And like this is like our social stuff. So you don't have to worry about that too much. It's like all cosmetics. Hmm. 
Like, I could try to make maybe some gold, like, helmet or something. I just don't know entirely how worth it that truly is. We only have 16 bars, so I probably couldn't. Like, I can make iron. Hmm. So let me try that out. I don't know if this is actually gonna be worth it. I need to see its stats, but I wanna see if there's like how much more defense the thing is. This is three day defense, which would be much better than two. I mean, the only thing is that this also has 5% increased damage and critical strike chance, 10% increased melee and movement speed. But at the end of the day, is that really better than armor? I don't know. So I could try it. I could try the iron armor. I just feel like it'd be a big waste to arm our iron. So like maybe once I have a bigger collection. Next time I try going against Ayakathulu, we'll try it again. <laughs> That's 2-0, or zero to two when it comes to me against the Ayakathulu, which is such a shame. But we'll get him one day, I'm confident of it. Okay, well, in the meantime, where are the potions at? I have them over here. Uh. I'll take 10 of them. I'm not really getting these as much as I used to. And I'm still like not exactly keen on upgrading my sword because I do get worried that I'm not gonna get as good of a one as I have now. I mean, I guess I could always sell it if that's the case. So maybe I really should just do that. But then I'm building that house over there. I'm gonna build another part of that house. I thought that'd be good. So let's get our gold ore, which is right here. And, no wait, nope, wrong one. <laughs> Everything but one of it. And let's see how that goes. Uh, so right here should be good. Yeah, I could do it, but once again, like it'd have to be some kind of buff for it to actually be better. Okay, well I crafted it, right? No wait, now I have. And is it any better? No, it isn't unfortunately, so it's less damage. Less critical strike chance, it's it's very fast, so like, it's actually worse than my tungsten sword right now. And that's sort of the weird thing, is I'm having a hard time finding what's gonna be better, and I can sell for only 18 silver. Darn. All right, well I might as well. Um, yeah, I'm having a hard time finding anything that's better than gold at the moment. Sort of a bit of an impact, Im, Im, impasse is, I don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't have, no wait, oh, wrong chest. I don't have too much wood on me right now, but I think I have more wood somewhere. Um, actually not really. <laughs> Jeez, I have more of this wood. So this is the wood we use. Um, so take all of it, and then once again, put one piece there. And that should be enough for like another NPC. And like the last time I did this, the NPC showed up like immediately. So you can only hope this a similar thing will happen this time. So the coloring might change. I'm so sorry, but. That's just gonna be the way it is. And I could make a couple of these. I wanna make a good chunk. And I'll put that there. Okay, we got some more stone wall if we wanted it. Tent thing. Oh no, why? Oh my gosh, it's so tough. Here, let's use this instead. Is this even gonna work? There it goes, okay. There it goes, okay, now we're doing better. Now I need all of this stuff that's chilling down there. And let's build this up. It definitely looks a lot different. That's not a bad thing. Just gotta build it across, maybe. Come on now. It definitely isn't the most responsive at times. Like, it's clear what I'm trying to do. So I'll, I'll need a lot more stone if I want to make a stone thing. Hmm, okay. In the meantime, let's see this. Oh, is it daytime again? I guess it is. Everybody's moving around like, oh, good, good, good. I, I don't have to stay in my house all night anymore because night is over. Uh, so I will have to build a door. I mean, I should actually have a door. I should have a door right over this way. I have a couple of doors. I could give them a fancy marble door if I wanted to, and I do. So good for them. And I also can do a mar marble workbench. Cool. And then if I go back down this way, I can, oh, I need stone for that. Hold on. 
<laughs> Always forgetting something, aren't I? Uh, where's the stone at? There's a bunch of stone right here. I got over 999 of it. I have to have a whole new stack. So transfer that, take one, put it there. I mean, I didn't really need to do that for that because there was multiple stacks. If I just sorted it, it would have been fine. Um, but anyways, <laughs> couple things I can make now. I mean, really the only thing I need is the wall, so I don't need to make a ton of it either. Am I at the right area though? Doesn't look like it. Maybe if I move over a little bit. There we go. So let's make a lot of this. I think 150 should be fine, right? I would hope so. I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna go back down here. I definitely need to sort of improve this whole door system so that we can get around a bit easier. But for right now it works. Whoa, okay, that wasn't perfect. Gotta be honest. But this might not actually be enough. Oh, we're getting there though. There we go, okay, that, that was good enough. Got it. Well, I still need a chair, don't I? I mean, I can, I could probably still make a chair right now with the in ingredients that I have. Yep, okay, just a chair like this will do pretty well. And then also some torches need to be put around. And we'll see what next NPC we get at the least, you know? Still bummed that I couldn't beat Cthulhu. And let's see for ourselves, is this hospitable? This housing is suitable. So we just have to hope that somebody shows up and moves in. I mean, it's all we ever really can do. So you know what, I feel like we should get our hammer out and try to clean that area up a little bit. And maybe even build more walls. To do that, I don't have too much wood right now. I feel like that's something I just need to do then. Just go get more acorns and plant more trees. Okay, and then maybe we'll hop into a mine or something. I don't know, like I'm so messed up on what I wanna do now because I was actually expecting to have like a nice long battle with Cthulhu. And I messed it up. <laughs> oh well, it happens. Uh, here we go. So, where are my acorns at? Oh, I got a ton. I'm just gonna take all of these. I mean, 10 you'd think would be pretty good but I'll take even more. Oh, they're playing rock, paper, scissors down there. Scott and Heather are. That's cool. Still nobody showing up for this area. So like, I don't know like what I might need for the next person to show up. Might have to start taking a look at that. There's like more NPCs and stuff. And then I'll grab the hammer, which should be in here. Right, yep, right over that way. I don't need it in too many places. It's on the top of this building and the top of the other one. No, wait, what? Why did, wait, did it break a treasure chest? Not really, no, okay, I'm good. It sort of overdid it in some spots, so, which is sort of a shame. There we go, that's all I wanted to do there. There we go, no, no, not that one. <laughs> all right, well, luckily that room's not hospitable anyways, compared, or according to the, the manual. Okay, well there's that figured out. I'm, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And yeah, let's let's plant some trees. I'm gonna do that real fast and then I think I'll be back. So as I'm moving through, I think I've decided what I wanna do for the rest of today's episode. We've been doing a lot of cave spelunking, so I definitely wanna sort of enjoy more of the ground above, you know? So what I think would be cool next is to just explore the desert biome a little bit. We explored some of the ice biome already, but the desert biome is a bit more of a mystery to me. So I think that's something we'll just explore now and sort of see how it goes. I already have quite a few things over here. None of them are really growing. So maybe I just need to move it. I wonder if there's like some kind of equivalent to bone meal in this game where you can make more trees out of it. That'd be perfect. Okay, it's not growing over this way. Oh, he's not on me even plant it. There we go. I'll just place more as we move along. Oh, there's some arrows from my fight with Cthulhu earlier. Still not happy that didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. 
But you know what, every time we fight him, we get a little bit more knowledge, right? One thing is, don't fight him right before the night's going to end. And another thing is, don't die. <laughs> Bring potions. Okay, well, I mean, it's good things to know, and I'm sure it's gonna apply to every other boss fight. Sand slime, that's new. Ow, ran right into him. It's weird that the, the water turns yellow. I, mean, I guess it's supposed to be like sandy. Got him. He dropped some copper and some gel. Not too bad. I want to try knocking down some cacti. Is that a, a uh, whatever this thing is called over this way? A vulture. Ooh, that must have hurt. I know he was gonna try to attack me, so I'm just trying to get to him first. Everything in this game tries to attack you, even flying fish. I gotta imagine the vulture is gonna try to get me. Honestly, this desert sort of reminds me of like Mario Bros. 3 desert. I don't know what it is. It sort of has the same style to it. So there's a big crater down this way, and it scares me ever so much. And I'm thinking what I'll do is I have a couple of these left over. I could... Oh geez, I hate it when it does that. Oh boy. Uh, I don't like this. And then I'll grab my rope. I still have the rope, right? Of course I do. Oh gosh, some sand slimes are here to push me off the edge. I'm not letting that happen. Ah, it's either me or you. And it's gonna be you. Hopefully. Got him. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So now that I have this set up, I'm like pretty close to the center of it. Let's see how far that goes down. I don't know if I'm gonna go down that right now, but I am definitely curious. It's still going. Wow, we used up like half our rope right there. That was crazy. There we go, more sand slimes. I'm actually tempted. Whoa, look at this place. Ah! Ant lion swarmer, that's creepy. I don't like it. Oh, it's huge. The big old bug. Get him out of here. Be gone, out of here, I said. See ya, bah. Got me some silver and copper, that was pretty good. Hey, watch it. So we got a water leaf, what is that? That's a material. And we got cactus. It doesn't seem to have like too much going for it in terms of like what it can do, at least from what I can see. Got him. Let's keep beating this guy up. Nice. Beat the vulture a little bit too. Fire that arrow at him. I wonder if that uh, cactus with the little pink flower on top of that's any different than the normal cactus. We're about to find out. Oh, is it gonna go back to grass biome? Oh, that'd be perfect if it does. If it's just like a little desert foray, and then back into, okay. See, now that, that, there's some good uh, perks to exploring. I mean, the water is still all sandy. I don't think I'm far enough into this grass biome. I mean, it might just go right back to desert, or not. Oh, this is great. I'm just glad to see more stuff like this. It's just our area is a little lackluster when it comes to like potential trees and everything, so to be able to find this is awesome. Like, I know I've been needing to build the golden axe. I just feel very uh, worried about doing that sometimes. I just feel like I'm gonna end up getting something better and like needing the gold or something, you know? I'm just making a mistake that way. We see some floating islands to the right of our map. That's interesting. Go ahead and get that. I missed an acorn. I need to get everything. There we go. <laughs> Let's get the blue sign. A little bird down here. It's an interesting little crater. Oh, I see a pot. I wonder if we can find more treasure chests somewhere around. Does that lead anywhere? I don't think it does. Okay, let's get back up here. Oh, no, hold on. No, oh, come on, I'm just trying to jump. It won't let me jump, so I guess I'm just gonna use rope instead. It's crazy how much of a reach you have with that version of moving, with that control scheme. There we go, we made it, we made it. I'm gonna bother with those trees later. Look at how many trees are over here and they're super tall. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, at least we got something going on for us today. There we go. My character at this point looks like some kind of weird cyborg kind of character with his helmet and stuff. We're getting so, mu so much wood now. Like how much do we have in total? 292, that's perfect, and there's still so much more. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. 
little bit more. And I don't want to, you know, just chop wood all episode long. I want to do some other stuff too, but it's just about what we find, I guess. There we go. So let's take a look. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, looks like we're still getting some of that good luck with that. We get another wand of sparking. Or no, actually, we didn't get that last time. We got a different kind of wand, I think. This has eight magic damage. It's a small spark. We have a herb bag. Press ZL to open. Okay. Well, actually, oh, I need to open it. Oh, cool, it just gave us a bunch of herbs. That's really cool, I like that. And that can be used to make different dyes and stuff. But it is getting dark out though. And I still have more stuff to find. And another chest, okay. This is lucky. We got grenades, wooden arrow, and a bunch of potions. I don't really need the chests at this point. We have more chests than we ever need. And now we're back to desert biome again. It is sort of a back and forth around here. Um, and then we have, whoa, tons of glow sticks. More grenades, copper bar, rope. Potions, Builder Potion, increases placement speed and range. Actually, that's really nice. Um, I mean, maybe I should get rid of these chests just so I don't run up to this thinking it's new stuff when it's empty. Like, that would stink. There we go. Hmm, whoa, oh yeah, that's right, I can't. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be able to. Then maybe just destroy this a little bit. There we go, now I can just jump up. Thought I was gonna be able to just dig right through. What is that thing over to the right? I don't think I wanna know. I don't like the desert very much, I gotta be honest. It's another antlion. Ow, you are rude. But luckily, I can just beat you up. You gave me some health back too, so that's very kind. Hmm, okay, very good. Nice, I got him. Like how much wood do I have at this point? 538, whoa. What is this? Is this a sunken pyramid? It has to be. Is there any way I can get like a better look at that? I don't know. Yeah, that did give me the pink prickly pear, by the way. Another vulture. Whoa, come on, get him, get him. Got him. <laughs> that arrow. How far does, does this desert biome go? That's what I'm curious about before I dive into that uh, pyramid. Whoa, it's a jungle over here. Okay, that's definitely for a future episode, I think. We should keep it to the desert, try to explore that. One thing, but wow. Whoa, there's a treasure chest. Hold on, let me snag whatever's in here. Welcome to the jungle. Uh, we got a godly trident. Wow, rope, shuriken, all that kind of cool stuff. The piranhas are coming for me, so I'm skedaddling. Sorry guys, better luck next time. Oh, a little grubby, that's cute. Um, Yeah, but we should be good just to go into that a pyramid. I don't know if I can handle whatever's inside. I sure hope so, or I'm gonna look really silly if I die even more in today's episode. Okay, get back up there. I wanna find out. Of course, as, a be as, as it is a desert, there's not really too much to do on the surface. Honestly, it's not as dangerous as I'd expected. There we go. I thought it was gonna be cruel and uh, unrelenting, that's the word. <laughs> But no, it's just like an occasional sand slime vulture. Not too bad. There's a zombie because it's nighttime now. But the zombies are everywhere. That's not too surprising or scary or anything. It does take a while to get through these sandstone bricks, but it looks like there might be something below. I don't know though. Um, I'll put that there for now. I mean, maybe this is a big chunk of bricks and nothing more. That'd be disappointing. You know, I am tempted with how many zombies are pouring in right now. I know, it's just a quick fix, but, ah, quickly, quickly fixing it. There we go, it worked, it worked, I'm safe. <laughs> Hooray, <laughs> thank goodness I didn't want to deal with all those zombies. So what is going on down here? Oh, okay, here's the opening I was looking for. How booby trap will this place, would there be like a giant boulder that immediately starts following me? I guess not. Good, <laughs> I'd rather that not happen. There we go. Yeah, I guess the opening was technically here, you just couldn't see it. Maybe it's not supposed to be so sunken in. Whoa, whoa, look at this place. 
Can I do, I, I guess if I want those banners, I'm gonna have to come back with a hammer. No, I should just have my hammer still. Yes, I do. Okay. Can I get that, those banners? I'm not really sure. Maybe they really are for decoration only. Okay, well, let's get a bunch of these. Nice. What do we have in here? Sandstorm in a bottle, equipable material, allows the holder to do an improved double jump. Wait, what? Equip. Whoa! Whoa! Double jumping! That's cool! What else do we got? We have 17 bombs, tungsten bar, and 15 torches. I am so happy right now. How cool is that? What else do we got going on down here? I don't know, it just keeps going and going. I'm a little nervous. It tempts you with riches and then makes you go deep down below to who knows what. Oh, nothing. Really? Huh, whoa, trap! Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm fine. Very lucky. Isn't that weird? Oh, I love that double jump though. That is super duper cool. But that was really all it was. <laughs> I was expecting a whole lot more. I mean, maybe there is more and it's just like disjointed? That'd be weird though. It is just also equally weird that it just sort of plops you off. Like, okay, you're done. Make sure you don't leave any of your uh, belongings inside the vehicle. Thank you for the, the joining the pyramid ride of doom. Or something like that. I don't know, I was trying to make it like a Disneyland joke. It didn't turn out very well. <laughs> I stuttered too much. Okay, uh, can I get it this way? Yeah, look at that. Man, I can get anywhere I want to now. The world's our oyster. That is so cool. Like, I am so pleased by that. It's a really good second jump. Do you like the second jump? Wow, it really like, I didn't have really the chance to before. It just keeps going. Man, you basically fly for a little bit. Do I have glow sticks still? I had a ton before. You know what? I'm gonna get our piggy friend to help us out. That'd be perfect. Uh, hey buddy. Can I interact with you? No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me get out of here before the jellyfish beats me up. There we go. I'm going to deposit most of this stuff. Actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna deposit all of it. Except for the one chandelier I apparently never took out of there. <laughs> okay. But actually, hold on. I still need the glow sticks. Where are they at? Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, I got a bunch of them. 84 of them. It's almost too much. And that goes down, okay. Just trying to figure out our best way to get over there then. Right now, I'm digging down this way. And then maybe I could also throw one down here. I mean, obviously there isn't much. But it's always good to check it out. Let me get some air. Hmm. I'm just trying to find out what's the best way to get in there. And like, if there's anything worth having. Can you stop that, Mr. Jellyfish? You're rude. Let's try this one. <laughs> this one's technically a part of the desert biome. So I feel more keen to do it because that's what I'm trying to explore right now. I don't think there's much like beyond that. Like, unfortunately, this pyramid was cool, but a little bit of a dud. You know, like with pyramid, I think, you know, giant, full of traps, mummy at the end of it. That was only like half. Oh, I do see that down there though. Okay, there's some air over this way. I'm gonna take that advantage. Also grab whatever pots are on the floor over this way. Okay. Oh no, I got rid of the torch. Why do I always do that? You know what I need to do before this becomes a problem? Because it will become, what is this? Warding jellyfish necklace. Provides light underwater. Whoa, I'll take that. That's fun. Guess I must have just got that. I'm going to build up like this so that hopefully this water won't follow me down. There's so many jellyfish waiting for me. They're like, we want to get you. But I want to get down here. 
so that I can get myself some more of that rock. Even if it's just one of them, they're so rare. I need to just get whatever one I can. Just always go out of my way for it. It's that big of a deal. Whoa, okay, there's something down this way. Okay, so this way I have, that, that way I have skeletons and stuff trying to get me. This way I have tungsten, I have iron, and most importantly I have that, whatever it's called, ore. Well, I'm glad I found something, you know? But hey, we got to explore a pyramid and get a sweet double jump. Like I feel like that right there makes the episode, even if it wasn't too much of a pyramid. It does look cool on the map though, doesn't it? Like it makes me think like maybe there is more and just like another entrance or maybe there's a different pyramid somewhere. Maybe he didn't want to just hide the treasure in one pyramid. The Pharaoh wanted to hide it in like 17 different pyramids that are more like tunnels. But whenever anybody suggests that, he'd go, no, the pyramids. He was very adamant about it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get up this way. We'll grab all that iron ore. Very cool. I see quite a lot of enemies down there. I'll definitely get to them. But first, tungsten. The tungsten's good to get. I mean, I already got some pretty good tungsten stuff. Okay, almost done with all this. Okay, so we'll go and fight these guys now. Might as well. Probably throw a glowstone, not glowstone. Uh, glow stick down there, just to sort of get a good idea of what's below. Just need to sort of knock this guy away first. There we go. Oh, we got some stuff. I'm excited to explore the jungle at some point, though, for sure. Come on, get him. So this might be a bit of a mistake. Let me get up here, actually, yeah. Not too much. Hmm. But it does look like there's something over this way. I wonder if I should have maybe just dug from somewhere else then so this entire reservoir doesn't spill into it, but it's what I'm doing. Good idea or not. I mean, chests and stuff survive underwater. Hey, speaking of chests, what do we got here? Something good, that's for sure. Hmm, can I get in there? Thank you very much. And there's not an onslaught of enemies waiting for me, which is uncommon. I hear something. That might be the sound of a salamander. Get rid of all the cobwebs. We can move, oh, some extra health. Maybe that's a noise of extra health, because I swear I hear this near all of the health things. So nothing too crazy, but still some good stuff. Got another mining or pickaxe statue. I'm pretty sure we've gotten that in the past. Okay, and let's get rid of this dude, if I can. Granite elemental. I haven't seen any other type of elemental. Do they exist? That'd be cool to see. And there's another trap boulder down here, I see that. I don't like those. They can just destroy you. Anyways, I am ready to get up there and get myself some extra health. Come on now, oh, wrong thing. Go. What kind of, is this just copper? I think it is. I gotta remember, I'm forgetting about my double jump. Man, you get some major height out, out of that, it's crazy. Like I never wanna unequip that. Why is this not working? There we go, life crystal. Get up this way, I know that elemental's looking for me. You're gonna have a hard time, because we're so agile now. Yep, there's a salamander, I thought I heard one. Totally caught it. So, let's go ahead and quickly use it. Going down this way. Boom, 280 health. Isn't that crazy? Got a couple more torches there. And while we're up here, I'm getting some gold. For sure. But those are my favorite rooms to find. These rooms full of like all these cool decor goodies and also uh, a chest full of useful stuff. Like how could you ask for anything better? That jump is like, you can move around a lot with it too, like in the air. It was just super good. I could probably really beat up Cthulhu with that too. He tries to, you know, jump up into the air or fly away. I just follow him. Start swinging at him. He's like, no, leave me alone. You're too powerful, Zebra. One of these days, one of these days, it'll happen. What is this, is this a, 
Red pressure plate. What was that about? Yeah, I wanted to sort of beat this rock up if I can. There we go, I busted it. I guess at some point if you walked under, yeah, it would have fell on you, and that would not have been pretty. Hmm. Let's get over this way. I don't know why the lighting was so red there for a moment. That was weird. Okay, I don't see too much to the right, but there still might be some stuff. But in the meantime, oh, there's a, uh, another traveling merchant arriving. We'll try to check him out soon enough too. I'm trying to get as much done as I can for the rest of today's episode. I still have a couple more minutes, so. I don't know how long traveling merchants stay. That's probably something I should look up too between episodes. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun. I've recorded these first nine episodes all in one day, but this is like the last episode of my session. And I just, I've had a blast. I was really hoping I could finish today's session with defeating the Cthulhu Eye. That just really got me bummed. But I'll be fine. <laughs> we'll eventually do it. Not the first video game boss that's taken me more than two tries. Okay, getting up this way, not really seeing too much. Oh, this is all cobweb. I thought this was stone, it is not. And that second jump can really save me if I fall, which I still would prefer not to fall. <laughs> that bat felt like he was about to knock me out, so just thought I'd make that known. Whoa, go in there, go in there. Oh, oh, ah, that actually worked. But then I, I don't know what happened, man. Maybe I'm getting a little too risky. But man, we got more stuff. I gotta be risky if we're getting this kind of stuff for it. Let's quickly then beat up that bat. What do we got here? This is Ra Rash Lava Charm. I'm gonna check it out later, because I feel like enemies are about to pop up. That's cool. That's really cool. Some kind of new ne necklace, I think. I'll have to see if it's better than my uh, jellyfish one, which it probably will be. I mean, that's just slightly more vision underwater. Nothing too crazy. Come on, come on, ready? Smack him. He's just running away. He's like, I don't want any of that, goodbye. He really is just running away from me. Okay. Hmm, weird. Let's get on top of the building. Just like that. Okay, so I'm good to actually check. Oh, this is a minecart area. I cannot see anything. So if I could just get rid of you guys. Oh, now he's reinvigorated. Try to get me. Do I have the minecart? I don't have the minecart. I put that away. Yikes, I have another place to check out with the minecart then. That'll be a fun future episode for sure. Oh no. Come on. Oh, no, I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. This is always so scary when this happens. Ah, oh, okay, come on, come on. No, give me a, give me a chance here, give me a chance. Thank you. That's why they don't give me a chance. Oh, this is another black marble area. That's a big deal because we can get a chest like this one, which has another magic mirror, tungsten bar, throwing knives, and some potions. Nothing too crazy with that one, but still pretty cool. And there might be another chest down this way. Hard to tell. Okay, it doesn't look like it, but I do see some extra health this way. So you know what? I'm trying to put down as many. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to put down as many torches as I can so I can tell myself later on where I've been and where I've not, you know? So many of these to beat up. Oh, what do we got in that one? Rope, okay, cool. Sort of looks like some kind of weird arrow. Okay, not too much there. It's just so much easier to travel and I love it. Okay, let's try to get this guy, the elemental. Boom, wait, ow, come on, a couple more hits. There it is. Okay, not the bats, but you know what? I can soar just as easily as you guys can now. The skies are not safe for the bats. Not if a zebra is around, at least. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get this. Another life crystal. You know what we're gonna be at? We're gonna be at 300 health as soon as I activate this. Ready? Boing. Yeah, awesome. I'm so happy about that. Another elemental. They just, they're everywhere nowadays, aren't they? They're all the rage. Come on, I wanna let you move a little bit closer. So when you actually drop all your stuff, I can pick it up. Was there another health thing down there? Or was that just my eyes playing tricks on me? And that was my eyes playing tricks on me. Okay. So. Whoa, where am I? <laughs> I don't know, I jumped a little too far. Well, I do hear, 
Ooh, the sound of more moolah. And also, some kind of earthworm attacking us again. Oh, here he comes. Can I, can I get him? Giant worm, I got him. Whoa, okay, there's actually not a chest in this one. But there's a lot of cool looking stuff still, so I'm glad. I'm happy. There was a workbench. Got that thing. Get rid of you, please. Oh boy. Oh, the chest is down here for some reason. Huh, that's that's wonky. Oh man, there's more stuff down that way. But we're definitely gonna be exploring more of this in the next episode. As you can see, I still got more I could do. We're gonna check it out next episode for sure. What can I explore, or what can I get here? Um, I don't need the other mirror. I really don't. I mean, I could sell them though. That's sort of the thing. Dude, seriously? Seriously, now's not a good time. I'm falling in the cobwebs, and you're not helping. I need to get my stuff. Come on, get him out of here. So you know what, I'm gonna go ahead, I don't need this. <laughs> Put that in there, get our stuff. I could probably sell it for some good money, you know? That's what I'm thinking about. I don't need sand. So you know what, I've had a lot of fun, but we gotta skedaddle, Run, running out of time. Boom, I gotta eat dinner soon. <laughs> so there we go, let's talk to Rally as well while we have the chance. Hey buddy, no wait, come back, don't run away. So we still haven't gotten a new uh, visitor. Uh, shop, what do you have? Portable cement mixer, kimono. It's a vanity item though. Paint sprayer, black counterweight, and foe. Some more food. Increases wall placement speed. Like that's cool, but we place walls super quick. Like why would we need that? I don't know, it's 10 gold, it's really expensive. I'm not taking it. Um, but what I am gonna take is a mild amount of time to try to organize our stuff. I did want to take a look at this at the least. Um, this is, um, provides seven seconds of immunity to lava. Isn't that cool? So if I equip that, oh no, I have, I have space for two. Oh, sweet. Wow. Look at that, that's super helpful. So yeah, I have, he feels like an evil presence is watching, that's uncomfortable. But yeah, I can sell this for one gold. How much will the other shopkeeper, will he even buy things? Let me find out. How much will he buy it for? Maybe he'll buy it for a higher price. No, he buys it for the same price. All right, I'm just gonna sell it to him then. There we go. And like there's different, like I wonder how much the silver, like we have copper one, also sells for six silver. Interesting, the chandeliers and stuff. Like we got lots of cool stuff that I definitely wanna sell more of eventually. But I feel like that's something I wanna save for the next episode. I had a lot of fun today, even if we didn't get Cthulhu defeated, we were able to go into, um. Well, farther east than we ever have. Got a lot of trees taken down. Went into a pyramid and got some other cool stuff. We got this sweet double jump. Look at how high up we can go with that. Whoa. Oh man, Cthulhu's in trouble the next time we run into him, isn't he? I sure hope so. With that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Terraria. If you want to just put a video, make sure you comment Zebra Pyramid so I know you've watched at the end of the year. A Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and doing the Zebra part of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.